Center Server Appliance. We have already downloaded the OVS file. We're going to name it some simple name. Choose a data store. And uh, no, we're not going to start it after deployment because, uh, yes, we're going to reduce the memory size because the default memory size is 8 gigabyte. So it's a bit too much for my little lab. So here we're going to go and edit settings and uh, go to memory. And I put 4 gig of RAM, which is enough. Power it on. We'll pause the video now. Now we are back on. And we see that the appliance took uh, IP address from uh, my DHCP server. But first, I'm going to create on my DNS a uh, forward and reverse DNS record. And I put static IP address. Yes, like this. And we double check that the reverse. Uh, record has been created. Okay. So we can now go and uh, connect to the appliance. Okay. Default uh, root password is VMware. Yes, accept the recent agreement. I click cancel now here because I will finish first the network configuration. So first I'm going to put a static IP address. That's what we entered in our DNS server. 10.10.7.28 and to do net mask, save the settings, go and uh, reconnect. Yes, leave the page. Okay, go back, root, password, finger. Okay, and also I'll enter the host name. It's a fully qualified domain name we have to enter here. The rest of the configuration, it's okay. So we'll go and save the settings. Save, okay. So now we can just actually start the setup wizard, which uh, allows us to select the configuration. So if we choose custom configuration, we keep the embedded database. And uh, on the next screen, we can integrate the Vicente Server appliance to our Active Directory domain. Note that uh, I'm using the administrator at lab.local as a login. So here I'm going to pause the video
Let's check out if the computer account has been created. Yes, it has been created and uh, so the appliance is integrated to our Microsoft Active Directory. Note also that the domain level is uh, 2008R2, not 2012. Here we go. So it looks like all the services are running. Let's wait a little bit. Database, vSphere client. It takes a bit of time. SSO is OK, Active Directory is enabled. OK, so we are done. And we will reboot. Now I'm going to pause the video. Here we go. So we're going to log into to the vSphere appliance with the vSphere Web Client. At this moment, we could also log in, in with the old Windows Client, but I'm showing you only the login with the vSphere Web Client. As all the new features I'm going to I'm going to showing in the Web Client. Thank you for watching.